What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Legacy Cubal draft here on Magic the Gathering. Dot internet slash turd burgles. Dot UK. Oh, look at that one. Fired immediately. Ooh, recurring nightmare and an opposition. Two pretty sweet build arounds. We, we tried to draft opposition last time, and we won. I think we went 3 0. But not really because of opposition. So, do we just opposition again? Hmm. Oh, Crutch Jr.'s here, actually, so we could probably do, theoretically, hold on, let me close this real quick. Theoretically, we could probably do Reanimator, right? Is there a Crutch Jr. step in the in the queue for a Reanimator? Is that correct? There is. All right, let's try, let's take this Recurring Nightmare, and we'll see what this can do. With, we can, let's see what we can do with this. Hmm. We want things to discard. Dak Faden helps us discard things. That's pretty sweet. It does put us into three colors, but I think that's fine. <clears throat> I still think it's one of the stronger picks in this pack. I like a hero's downfall, but hero's downfall might table. No one has any respect for that. Creeping Tarpit might also table, but I don't I don't know about all that. But anyway, we'll see. <clears throat> I like Wandering Fumeral. I also like Living Death. We could just discard a bunch of fat idiots into the graveyard and then Living Death. That seems pretty gas. Let's try that. Let's try Living Death. <clears throat> Frank misses my cheer, and I spelled cheer wrong. My life is getting worse and worse. Danny B. So I've had a pretty bad few weeks at work. Frank Mike, so have some bits, and you can continue. Danny B., I'm so sorry, buddy. Speaking of fat idiots, hey Frank, I'm finally here. I don't know if that's calling me or you a fat idiot. Oh man, this is confusing. <clears throat> I got the sc I always get the scratchy throat when I first wake up. It takes me like an hour and a half to get rid of like the scratch. I didn't just wake up, but it takes me like an hour and a half after I start talking to like get rid of the scratchy throat. It's just oh boy, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh boy. Is vocal warm ups a thing you can do? How do I do this? How do I do this? Sometimes I try to talk and sing, and uh. Unease Joker, I'm, today's gonna be a short stream. I'm only doing this one cube draft. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow because I do need some more videos for this week. So I will be back tomorrow. So hopefully you guys can slam those like and subscribe buttons, those follow and subscribe buttons. And then that way the internet will be like, hey, Frank's live right now. And you can be like, he sure is. All we need for this reanimate deck is some creatures right now. That's all I want. Is just some, some creatures. Some old creature boys. <coughs> you guys remember that jam? I think it was just on, so. You should. You should remember it. Oh, uh, nothing is great here. Oh, that's sad. Scavenging is could be good. We could just ignore the Dak Faden. Uh, because scavenging is helps. Oh, actually, Arcane Artisan, right? Huh. Huh. Yeah, let's take the Arcane Artisan. <coughs> We're going to have so many ways to reanimate things, we just have to get those things. Uh, I kind of like Marsh Flats here. We also could take Vampire Hex Mage because it's easy to sacrifice if we're going to Recurring Nightmare. It's also a, it's a decent creature. It exiles cards from your hand, but if you're exiling a big monster anyway, you're just going to get a copy of it, so... I'm not too worried about that. 
Out of interest, are you more excited for War of the Spark or War of the Infinity Stones? Um, that's a good question. I'm actually very excited for both, and I don't know if I could even quantify both of those excitements. Uh, I am a big fan of... I am a big fan of War of the Spark so far. I'm going to take the Marsh Flats. I think it's just a safer pick. Especially because we're looking to be... Uh, three color. Ooh, Dread Return. All right, well... Well... I think we want to be closer to blue-black and just splash this deck. Gonna be blue-black splash today. Oh, Bitter Blossom and a Recurring Nightmare? That's a thing. That's a thing. Where are my big creatures at? This is also a decent sacrifice card because uh, you can just get, it just comes right back. Yeah, we'll just take this guy. Actually, Spellskite's good. <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna take the Spellskite. I like Spellskite better because it protects... I was really hoping this would come back. It protect, which is nice. Um... Siege Gang is decent. Actually, if we go turn two Bitter Blossom, we can play turn through turn two Spawn of Mayhem. Uh, yes. If an opponent lost life, no, we cannot. That is not how that works. Still gonna take it. I still like it. A Lava Claw. That's pretty sweet. All right. Did we forget War of the Thrones? Yes, there is War of the Thrones, War of the Infinity Stones, and War of of the Spark. <clears throat> Volrath Stronghold, eh? Hmm. Yeah, I'll take Volrath Stronghold. Oh, wow. 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 I'm going to take Hex Mage because I want creatures. Fatal Push is nice, but we already have Heroes Downfall. Come on, give me some big fat idiots. Come on, where are the fat idiots here? Sneak Attack could be good if we're playing big fat idiots already. <clears throat> Whip of Erebos, also not terrible, but... That just makes the... If the creatures are already in the graveyard, I think we're fine with uh, how we get them back. Living Death, Dread Return, Recurring Nightmare. I'm just going to take Sneak Attack here. You like Lily over Sneak Attack? Sneak Attack just seems broken. Oh, Ashiok? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's got to be Ashiok, right? This pack is gas, though. Oh, my God. Vraska's Contempt, Jit, Metamorph, Ancestral Vision, Gaunti, Deep Analysis, Inferno Titan. Yeah, we're taking Ashiok. A Bloodstained Mire. And a Steam Vents and a Drowned Catacomb. Wow. Wow. I mean, I'm definitely taking the Bloodstained Mire and hoping one of those two comes back, but... That's a yikes for me, dog. Kalidus? Kalidus is alright. God, we really need just big creatures. We have all these cards, but we have no creatures to, like... To get them with. Well, you're not a creature, unfortunately, but you are a big... Dude, we have no way to cheat in a Planeswalker, right? We have Sneak Attack, which is Creature. Creature. Buried Alive puts creatures in the graveyard. Recurring Never gets back a creature. Living Death gets back creatures. Arcane Artists and Exiles creatures. Okay. So literally no way to get a Nicol Bolas. think it's probably Chupacabra. Maybe it's Bogarden Hellkite. <clears throat> so this is 11 cards, 3 are going to come back. Chupacabra is very, very good, though. I bet either Bogarden Hellkite or Nicol Bolas comes back, and I would be fine taking either when they wheel. Uh, I'm going to say I think Doom Whisper here. We need bodies. Hostage Taker also good, but I think I just want a bigger creature now. <coughs> yeah, I think I'm like I think I'm excited about taking Chupacabra because I'm so used to idiots like Necrotal and Bone Shredder, who can only kill like half of the available creatures. So, when I get a Chupacabra, I'm like, you can kill anything. Perfect. Excited about you? Boy, do we have some good news for that. What, what's the good news? <clears throat> Mesmerizing Benthid? It is a dude. Mm. 
So this month, Nicobolus' master plan start, finally comes to an end. He apparently was half Targaryen all along, and used the Infinity Stones to conquer all of Westeros. Then Palpatine starts laughing. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> what a twist! <clears throat> I also kind of like Toxic Deluge here. I think a Deluge is probably the stronger card. I'm just not that impressed with, with Benthid. Thank you. Evil Monkey, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Guys, guess what's back? The big ass container of raisins is back. Um, I figured there were too many moments during streams where I'd be like, I'm I'm getting cranky and I, I could use some sort of uh nourishment. So raisins are back on the menu. You know, so to speak. Blood Crypt? You gotta be kidding me. I like Faithless Looting too, but I'm, I, I'd am i much rather have a way to play these spells. Oh, the Liliana just came, came back. Okay. Sure. Why not? Guys, we're really hoping for some big creatures in the last pack. We have six creatures so far. How does one go about sending you a treat box? Thinking of sending you some love? That, that would be... Danny B, that'd be awesome. Uh, just send me an email. We'll figure it out. You know how to get a hold of me. Chandra and Vraska's Contempt come back. Hmm. If only there was some fun party game to blow off Steam. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It could be Chandra. That could be Vraska's Contempt. We already have a hero's downfall, a chupacabra. I think it's probably Vraska's Contempt. I don't want to go double red here. That seems bad. Eh, Graveyard Marshal is whatever. <clears throat> I mean, we're basically almost mono black right now. Like, especially because this, uh, uh, well, no, maybe not. I was going to say because the, the Vampire Hex Mage and the Fatal Push came back. But we only got to take one of those, so that doesn't really affect our mono blackedness. Whatever that means. Oh, Slaughter Pack. I don't actually hate Magister Worth here. The problem is if you bring back a Magister Worth with a Living Death, all of your other creatures die. So she, you really just want to hard cast this. Or reanimate it by itself, I guess, with Recurring Nightmare. I'm still going to take it. I don't think I think it's better than Slaughter Pack. Okay, so Nicobolus came back, but the other one did not. Which is fine. We'll still probably play this guy. Maybe we can get like a basalt monolith. <sighs> Send him a treat box that every container has had its contents replaced by raisins. A prank that's also healthy and delicious. Uh, worm coil engine is probably pretty sweet and what we want to do. I also really like Deep of Sanity here. Also, the steam vents nor the drowned catacombs came back. So that's fascinating. Uh, it's mostly Mike's leg. It's his sciatic nerve. His leg is hurting him more than his back is. Nevertheless. Uh, I think it's just Black Cleave Cliffs here. I don't think we care about Necromancy because we already have Recurring Nightmare and Dread Return and Living Death. We have three ways to reanimate. I think I'd rather just have more consistency in my mana. What do you think about food tomorrow? I like food every day. I'm a fan of food every day. Food's more of a Friday thing for me. Yeah, I like to treat myself at the end of the week. End of a hard week, I like to eat one meal. Force of will, Lang God, they're really like we're just really whiffing on the the big creature plan here. This is literally just gonna be a Wrath of God. 
I don't even feel like we have like two blue cards in the deck that are not the ugh, ugh, ugh. This is this pack is terrible. Hmm. <sighs> Windswept Teeth gets nothing for us. I do. I yeah. I'm thinking of Languish. <clears throat> we don't have any creatures that really get penalized. We do have Bitter ugh, Bitter Blossom as well. That's fine. I'm not thrilled about it. I feel like this deck has all the good, all the good, uh, the good makings of a, of a sweet reanimate deck. Uh, we do have sneak attack, and we can't cheat this guy into play via recurring nightmare or dread return or anything like that. But we do have sneak attack, and I think that's pretty good. We also have arcane artisans, so Emrakul is pretty much uh, exactly where I want to be. Oh, man, I was really excited about this. Oh, Woodfall Primus is actually pretty okay. I was excited about the Bayou and the Tundra, and then I realized neither of those are our colors. Una's Prowler also pretty good at being able to get creatures in the graveyard. Right now, it looks like we only have Dak, Faden, and... I guess Artisan. Artisan's still good with Woodfall Primus. So now these are like our big, our big fat idiots. And we do have Nicol Bolas that we can just cast. Uh, I don't think we have enough creatures for show and tell yet. <laughs> Like, you can't put a Planeswalker into play. So, like, we literally get Wormcoil or Emrakul. And, like, Wormcoil's not really impressive with Show and Tell. Show and Tell's also a trap, guys. I don't know if you guys knew this. This turns Marsh Flats into a red source, but it's not that exciting. We already have Blood Crypt, so I'm not super. Actually, I like Looter because it lets us discard things. Looter seems pretty sweet here. It's also just another creature. Um. I mean, Rampaging Bailoff is actually way more tempting than I thought it would be. We have no blue fixing whatsoever. But, I mean, we're definitely playing deck and looter. These are only discard and, and arcane artisan, so it's not like we're... It is what it is. Um, our black-red fixing is pretty decent, though. After Empty Joe cleans itself up, can we play? So wait, what's it? What does that mean? <laughs> I'm probably just taking Baloths here, and eh, we'll probably just take Lordbringer actually. Oh, a cause. Oh, Scarab God, really? That is a late Scarab God. Also, this guy shuffles back in, so I'm not too excited about it. We're just gonna take Scarab God. I don't think that's even remotely close. Thief of Sanity came back as well. Wow. Those were some unreasonable picks. This is a late Splinter Twin. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of just tempted to take it because there's nothing else for us here. I'm just literally... For 11th picking, 10th picking a Splinter Twin just casually. Just, mm, okay. I'm not a huge fan of Brain Maggot here just because if we Living Death, it's going to go away. Maybe we don't Living Death, though. Malicious Affliction is good. Greyborn Muse is also pretty good. We'll just take Greyborn Muse. Unus Prowler. There we go. There we go. Bloodline Keeper? Okay. Rift Bolt? Sure. God, I really want to cut the blue, but it's like our blue cards are very, very good. Scarab God, Ashiok, Dak Fade, and Thief of Sandy, Arcane Artisan, and Looter. Yikes. <clears throat> Those are all very, very good. I think the hardest thing about, um, about Malicious Affliction is that it's usually just a can't kill a non-black creature card because it's very it's difficult to trigger the morbid ability on it. Yeah, we're taking out the vampire hex mage. We're taking out the spell skite. I don't think we're buried aliving. I just don't think we have the creatures for it. Recurring nightmare is good, especially with woodfall primus or warm coil or even scarab god. But I don't think scarab god's going to be good. Even getting back a glory bringer is pretty nice. Um, we're also up to fifteen creatures now, which is pretty good. We have a bunch of... This deck looks decent. This guy has to get in the graveyard, so we have Dak Faden, Unis Prowler, and Arcane Artisan, and Ludicrous Core to do it, which is pretty... That's a pretty 
efficient. Uh, we can also sneak attack it if it's in hand, so that's a good amount of ways to do that. Probably Bloodkeeper can go. <clears throat> uh, we don't have we we don't have the, we don't have mana for blue, but they let you add basic islands, <laughs> so technically we do. We need one more cut. Yeah, being able to sneak attack a Woodfall Primus or an Emrakul or even a Worm Coil to get back two creatures. I think we're cutting Living Death, right? Because we still have Recurring Nightmare, we still have Dread Return, we still have Sneak Attack. Is that enough for animation? And we have Arcane Artisan as well. Anything else we want here? We have Toxic Deluge and Languish for the signboard. I do like I do like Spawn of Mayhem a lot. It's just a big dude. Uh, probably not cutting Nicol Bolas. I probably should, but I don't think I'm ever going to. I think Glorybringer is just a super efficient creature that just kills them. I think Glorybringer is super good. My problem with Living Death is that I feel like we're going to kill a lot of their creatures. We have Heroes Downfall. We have Ravenous Chupacabra. Um, we have Liliana. We have... What's the other card? Glory Ringer, Heroes Downfall. Like, we have a lot of ways to kill their creatures. So I'm not like... I don't want to put a bunch of creatures in the graveyard because we kill them and then just have them get it, get it back with, uh, with Living Death. No, Doom Whisper is not cuttable. It's a six-six flyer. It's trample. That lets you put like creatures in the graveyard. Like you can surveil and put things in your graveyard. <clears throat> Living Death can win you games. You have no business winning, but it could also just do nothing. I'd rather just play. I mean, I'd rather play like Languish than Living Death because it doesn't hit a lot of our creatures. Or Toxic Deluge. I think I'm just gonna try it like this. Like we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we're gonna seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, don't need that. So we can. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is. There's only five blue sources. I want to go up to six. This is 10, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 6, 6, 10. Which I think is fine. I want blue more early than I want red. So we'll see what this. We'll see what this does. <coughs> Raisins. Okay, well, we have two pretty easy discards. And we can play this deck Faden, so I'm okay with all this. And if we just... <clears throat> it's, you, you draw first, which is nice. So if we end up drawing... <coughs> if we end up drawing a sneak attack, then we know to hold this guy. And maybe this guy too, actually. Oh, Thief of Sanity is real good. I might just run Thief of Sanity out first. Oh my god, we can just steal that or totally stealing that. That's gasoline. And their name is always Unlucky99. Wow, that's just... That's fitting. Oh, and they missed a land drop. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's draw. Glorybringer, huh? We can play Glorybringer and just attack. Just do a little smash. We can also play Thief and Looter. I like Thief and Looter better. Let's get rid of one island. Oh, we just win the game. Dak also lets us play Woodfall Primus, like just actually cast it. Oh man. Alright, well, that was a good game. <laughs> both 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 teams played hard.
Chris, what are you doing right now? You're on the clock for Blizz currently? What does that mean? That sounds great. Tournament admin for the Masters call first? That is awesome, dude. Way to go. I'm a fan. Oh my god, we can steal that too? I can steal all your things? Man, Dak Faden is a is a reasonable magic card. Okay. Liliana of the Veil. Inferno Titan you can't cast. Him to Torok you can cast. Bedevil you can cast. Yeah, we're just taking Liliana. If you want to bedevil this guy, that's fine. <clears throat> because then you can't kill Dak Faden. Yeah, so... Fantastic. Just wonderful. <laughs> Is Bomb Warrior the problem? That was rude. I feel like we're woefully underprepared here. So now they have Inferno Titan in hand. And now they're gonna play it. Yeah. Well. Wow, this game feels just uh just as lopsided as the first one. So you're still 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's a, this is a fair card. This is a fair and balanced magic card. We are definitely bringing in the Vraska's Contempt, that is for sure. <clears throat> yep, you got it. Oh, pitching a Bogard and Hellkite? Okay. I'm going to pay the cost before this resolves. People do things so weird on Magic Online. It's always funny to, to watch like how people sequence things. Yep, that's not going to do it. All right. Let's bring in a Vraska's Contempt. Our deck seems great. I think they just got really good hits off of off of him to Torak. If they didn't hit Dak, I think this game would have been a completely different game. I think we're cutting the Nickel Bowls here. I mean, it costs 8 mana. It's probably correct to cut it at any point. I think you guys are right. I do like Spellskite. Takes the heat off all of our other cards. I can just play 41 here. I'm okay with it. Yes. Keep. Snap ems, Mick keep ems. Him to Torok, our Ashok, and our Thief of Sanity. You ready? I'm. Um, oh, okay. It's not happening. Cold Steel Heart. I will name him Black. Yep. Dak Faden. Dang it. I think there an argument can be made for Ashok, but this is just going to draw us cards if it doesn't if they don't have an answer for it. So, so they're just going to play Liliana and make us sacrifice it. Oh, never return, sure. I mean, I'd rather them hit that than Ashiok, to be quite honest. 
Especially because it's a creature we can get back. Um, actually, do we want a Graveborn Muse? No, I think we want Ashiok because it's an empty board. <clears throat> uh, Magma Jet and two lands. Okay. Him to Torak, get Greyborn Muse and Worm Coil Engine. Well, we get to keep Recurring Nightmare, I guess. That's good. Oh, wow. <laughs> that ain't no joke. <clears throat> We're going to play Recurring Nightmare because it lets us play any creature to get back a Worm Coil Engine. And then we can sack the Worm Coil to get back a Greyborn Muse. That seems good. It's going to be an Infernal Titan? Sure. Three to Ashiok. You got it. Oh, we can actually get Legion War Boss. Keep Ashiok alive. Oh, that seems good. Um, we could also just get a Doom Whisper. I don't think that's as good, though. So, <clears throat> let's just put Legion War Boss. Two Edge can only use this as a sorcery, huh? One, two, three. Um, I mean, we can also just replay Recurring Nightmare, or we can play. I think I like Kalidus because if they want to trade here, then we're going to get a token out of it. Uh, we can't. The, the problem is, like, it would make a token during combat. The, 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 the token would just smash into the Inferno Titan, and then we'd never actually get the value off of it. So I just. I don't really. We, can't, we don't have the luxury to, like, only sacrifice the tokens here. Alright. Well. Assassin's Trophy. I mean, if you want to hit the Worm Coil engine, give me two, two Wormy Boys. I guess then you kill the... Oh, you kill the Kalidus. Um, let's get a second red, because that lets us play... Uh, if we draw a sneak attack, it lets us act actually activate it here. You have two more mana. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, this is... Escalating quickly, unfortunately. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. Oh, yep, and then they shoot the death touch one. So we take nine. I don't think we're blocking because we want a recurring nightmare the worm coil engine again. And we can't do that if we don't block, so. Both attacking Ashiok, huh? that's actually pretty good <laughs> I will not uh, take either I will take none and then we get to bring back one two three oh dang we're so short on mana here this is what we have six mana and we we, we were we were gifted one of them so like I'm just going to replay this so next turn we can do more things. <sighs> Don't care about that. Unless you're just using it to make two mana and then using the other two mana. Yeah, I don't care about that. Oh, big Choopy Boy? Oh, Choopy Boy. Oh, that's pretty nice. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. 
are you getting back? We're at 23. We can just Ravenous Chupacabra to kill the... I kind of like s attacking into their Xenagos. Sacking this guy to get like Greyborn Muse. Sacking one of the tokens to get the Worm Coil back. <clears throat> I guess we could have also just played Glorybringer and done the same thing. But I kind of like, I kind of like recurring this. I'm not too concerned with the Xenagos right now. Yeah, that's fine. We get six million mana. Uh, you can't target and then kill this back because it's sorcery. You can only use this as a sorcery. If you use this at instant speed, it'd be utterly insane. <clears throat> and I'm glad you guys don't design cards when you think they work this way. <laughs> uh, so we could choop and kill this and then sack it to get back Greyborn Muse. That actually could be fine. I also like having choop in the graveyard at that point. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh, they just win. We just win the game. Chupacabra is all they need to see. They're like, okay, Chupacabra, I'm out. All right, so let's take out the Nicol Bolas, because I think 8-mana is a little ambitious for this deck. And maybe Vraska's Contempt just comes in. I also, I do like Bloodline Keeper. Yeah, because you can then you can just activate it anytime. If they go to kill your creature, you can activate it and sacrifice the creature. Oh my god, you guys are ridiculous. I kind of like I kind of like Bloodline Keeper. It also just makes tokens. We'll see. We'll see if it's any good. I thought it was activated only. No, it's only as a sorcery. I will play first. Uh, I will keep this hand for sure. Bitter Blossom? Deal. We can go get a uh, Blood Crypt. Seems good. I feel like our deck has a good mix of things. Like, we have good things that work with Sneak Attack. We have good things that work with Arcane Artisan. We have good things that work with Recurring Nightmare. I feel like we're just... We're like... We're in the sweet spot, but just barely, I think. <clears throat> like, we have a few ways to discard with Dak Faden and Looter and uh, Arcane Artisan and... Um, Unis Prowler, so we can get things into the graveyard. So we're not stuck holding, like... Um, Oh, okay. Weird, weird choice, but all right. <laughs> yeah, that was a weird flex, but okay. Oh, you can crack a fetch. I can crack a fetch too. Did you know that? I did not know that. These raisins are already coming in handy, guys. Can this, is this resolve? Can't wait to exile Emrakul with Artisan and have an Emrakul that dies when an O2 dies. To be fair, it's the spirit of Emrakul that's dying. How do you feel about Craisins? Craisins are amazing. I feel like Craisins um, are a little too high in sugar. I really like the, uh, there's like Craisins that have a third sugar, which are really, really good. But... Raisins, either way, is delicious. I'm a big Raisin Brand fan.
I think Raisin Bran has just the right amount of like healthy with Bran Flakes and, and sweet with, you know, raisins. Well, we have nothing to do here, so I guess we're just gonna just gonna casually pass. Crazen Bran. Oh my god. And then that song was in his head all day. Prismatic lens. All right. Well, that's not super exciting either. I wish it was a four drop. I wish it was our blood stain keeper. That's not what he's called. Bloodline keeper? There we go. Instead, it's a scarab god, which is still fine. How'd that Gideon... Oh, they uh, they put it in the graveyard with a search for us contest? Sure. I was like, how'd that Gideon get in the graveyard? I didn't do anything about that. Evolving Wilds. That's where that belongs. Oh. Wow, how fascinating. Yeah, Scarab God would finally be good as a four drop man. If only we could cut his mana cost by one and finally see some play. Jeez, that card is ridiculous. Or you can just slice fresh bananas in here. Ain't nobody got time to have A, fresh bananas on hand every single day. They go bad quick. And B, time to cut up a banana every morning. People got things to do. What do I look like, an aristocrat? Well, you're a good dude. What a good boy. One, two, three, four, five, they have six mana. So they're for sure gonna counter something. I think we just lead off with Doom Whisper. It just lets us put a bunch of stuff in the graveyard for Dread Return. I mean, if it resolves, right? Oh, also, Bitter Blossom is nice with the Dread Return. That's pretty gas. Are you just hard casting a Force of Will? Wow. Wow. Someone made a joke about the Sacred Foundry tapped into Force of Will, and then they actually have the Force of Will. That's just great. That's just great. I hope they play a big idiot so I can just Ravenous Chupacabra it. I mean, the nice thing is, even if they counter the Dread Return, we can just flash it back. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I try to like bananas because they're high in potassium, and apparently that's good for leg cramps, which I have, but they're mushy. That's true, they are mushy. Deafening Clarion for three Bitter Blossom tokens is interesting to me. Oh, well, that one worked. All right. Now we have a Dread Return in the graveyard. And a Scarab God in the hand. I do not like Moosh. <laughs> oh, you kids. You kids and your Moosh. Let's surveil. <clears throat> oh, one, two, three, four, five. I think both of these are fine. I don't want to surveil too much because you have a bitter blossom on board. I do want to find a card I like at least. Give me one card I like. Oh, I feel like sneak attack's pretty good here. I'll keep a sneak attack.
I'm not going to use it right now. I'm just going to play Scarab Gun, but... They've also used two sweepers, Deafening Clarion and Supreme Verdict. Although Ezkanta on board is pretty annoying. Tamio the Moon Sausage. Sounds good. Unfortunately, they have zero creatures in their graveyard. We will be upkeep, uh, upkeep Doom Whispering. Just for that sweet, sweet scry. One mana Scarab God, four times playable now. You're right. You're right. Oh, another, another, another one, huh? That's oh, nice. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> one of them is a token. It doesn't exist. Can I just draw a an Emrakul here? That would be gas. Emrakul one time. I'll take a Woodfall Primus as well. Liliana seems nice. Okay. Get rid of that dude. And then we can just drop a sneak attack just so it's there. Just so you know it exists. Okay. Okay. I don't hate what's going on here. We know they have a Tamio in hand. That's good to know. Good to know. This is good information to have. It's not a boar god? Are any of them? You gotta put the lily back, right? You just drew? Wow. Fascinating. So they have Tammy on one other card? Okay. Looter Ilkor. This is a matchup where we're probably taking out Ravenous Chupacabra and bringing in Vraska's Contempt when we've seen Tamio and Teferi. Oh, I do like a glory bringer here. Is that better than Doom Whisper? Probably. Yeah, let's try to kill the Tefri here. Oh, they're digging. They're digging. I don't think they found it or else they would have snapped it off, right? Oh, they they whiffed. Oh, the oh, Supreme Will, sure. Well, we get to kill a Teferi here, which is pretty strong. Attack Teferi. Uh I don't want to exert though. Attack yeah, okay. And attack Teferi. And we're probably just gonna also play uh Lutero Core, because it just gets rid of this Chupacabra next turn. <clears throat> we do have to win the game in eight turns though so if they top deck another like wrath of god it's pretty bad but right now we know they have tamio and supreme will and two randos i thought they whiffed but then apparently they did not caracas sure yeah i feel like tucking lily would have been stronger than just drawing a random card all right, Supreme Mill and one other card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play four drops. Woodfall Primus would be nice because we can actually uh, avoid Caracas. Emrakul is pretty rough because we don't get to avoid Caracas here. Una's Prowler.
I'm tempted to just actually Una's Prowler just to kill. But I guess they could discard a card. I guess is fine, but I think I'd rather just cast this. They do get to draw like a million cards this turn. They get to draw like four. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I guess we could draw like Vraska's Contempt. No, we can't. That's in the sideboard. Oh boy. I mean, if we can play around this Caracas, it's pretty nuts. That's true. If we do attack and they bounce it, we get Annihilator. And if they wait to uh, bounce it, then we get to put into play again. Actually, that's pretty good. That's still actually an out. That's pretty insane. So this is gone. You have three cards. I don't know what they are. You could draw four here. Yep, that's what I figured you'd do. They have eight cards in their deck. And we have seven life, so it's a race. <laughs> right, if he bounces at the beginning of combat, we can put it back into play with sneak attack. Like, they only have one... Sneak is instant speed. Yes, you can sneak whenever you want. Oh, what up, Kerwit? My name is a miracle. Uh, you put a creature on that creature gains haste. Sacrifice the beginning of the next end step. The beginning of the next end step. My name is Cuban Pete. You're gonna sacrifice six perms. They actually have to bounce it. No, they don't. Maybe they do. Oh, you just happen to have an answer for Emrakul. <laughs> Impressive. Amazing. Oh, boy. Sometimes you just have it all, guys. Sometimes you literally have it all. I'm here for the all having stream. I heard it was happening here today. That's true. It is happening here today. My name is Cuban Pete. Choose up to one creature. I'll choose none. 
Well, Armor Cool Style is protected from a lot of things. It just doesn't happen to be an enchantment at, with Flash, right? Like... My concern is, like, if we draw Woodfall Primus, it's a much better hit with Dread Return. I guess we could sneak attack it in. I guess that's fine, right? One, two, three. Uh, an enchantment is not a spell when it's in play. No, it's an, it's an ability when it's in play. The enchantment comes into play, then it targets something as a triggered ability. It is not a spell. Spells are only spells when they are on the stack. Oh, you got it. Yeah, if we destroy the enchantment, we have to keep it forever. Unfortunately, we're playing Grixis, so we literally have zero answers for an enchantment. Seems good. What do you get a land back? Eh, that's not exciting. Looter core back, maybe? Oh, that'd be fine. We have a Yeah, get that looter back when we have a Liliana on deck. Seems good. <sighs> oh, we do have Woodfall Primus as an answer. The card we were literally just talking about. Alright, well we're gonna five. Face, Tamio, Tamio. I mean, they could discard two cards to Una's Prowler if they want to keep Tamio alive for one more turn, but. Uh, Bolas is an answer, but we boarded Bolas out. Well, we just took him out of the main deck. I just think it's too expensive. I mean, we just hit our eighth land right now on turn 12, so. Oh, they're just letting the Tamio go. Fascinating. Oh! oh, we did it, boys. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> I'm going to slam that dude into play. I'm going to kill your cast out, and then I'm going to... Uh, this guy's going to die. Miscalculation, huh? Well, that doesn't do anything. They also have five cards in their deck. They have to win with five cards. I don't even care about you, Sun Titan. Yeah, we could also kill our own Bitter Blossom. My name is a Cuban. Peter, I'm the king of the Rumba Beatty. And then we got Emrakul. He's gonna flop on out of this cast out. C -c -c Combo Breaker! That was. Killer Instinct was one of my favorite games back in the 90s. Oh, look at that. They're like, we'll kill your, gu your guy in response. I'm like, you know what, man, you got it. They think they're gonna kill us here. <laughs> they don't know. They're like the Jon Snow of, of this match. Kill this guy. Can I, I can get my Emrakul back. Saberwolf, Fulgor, Cinder. I, I, yeah, Killer Instinct was gas, dude. Uh, I'll block. They could have bounced our our Emrakul there if they wanted to. Guess they didn't want to. This was a Wrath of God. sure who's got who's got the time you know he <laughs> cycle cycle miscalculation you got it I don't think they can draw enough cards to kill us here but we're definitely gonna get rid of the uh... do we just win if we get like they have to block Emrakul or they bounce it but then we just put it back into play uh, so they have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This guy's coming back. Do we get Glorybringer or do we just kill our own Bitter Blossom? I don't know, actually. 
Are they just gonna kill us with them, is it? So we go to three. We go to two. So we literally have to. <sighs> Boy. Okay, that's fine. I don't care about that. All our guys either fly or have trample. All right, that one they whiffed on, so I think we're okay. I think we actually want the glory bringer. Oh, did we kill the Caracas? The Caracas doesn't do anything. Uh, I do play Arena. I haven't played Arena since the Legacy Key was been up, but I play Arena pretty regularly. If you guys follow me on YouTube, you should know that I have tons of Arena videos. And Durza, you're like a gold sub. You should know that I play Arena. Um, Are we getting back? I think we're dead next turn to, to Niv-Mizzet anyway, right? They, they have to block here. So they take 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we're just going to kill this. We can still swing with Emrakul. If they bounce it with Caracas, we put it back into play with Sneak Attack. Oh, they actually could bounce it. I guess they could bounce it. Um, yeah, so the thing is they could bounce it um, before damage. Yeah, so they would just sack six perms then bounce it during damage. So let's avoid that. Yep, that is fine. Go to one. Um, let's get Chupacabra back. Wow, this game is insane. Oh, Chupacabra kills Niv Mizzet and you die. Wow, this game was nuts, dude. All right, so we're taking out... Uh, Chups is actually decent now that I've seen... What's his, what's her name? What's his name? Niv, Niv Mazut. Um, wow, that game was emotionally draining. Vampire Hexmage can come in. So can Vraska's Contempt. Because Vraska's... Actually, we can take out the Chups for the Vraska's Contempt because they both kill Niv Mizzet. Um... I am tempted to bring in this Nicol Bolas, even though it is hard to cast. That is two games where the opponent scoops to casting troops. Uh, Recurring Nightmare does seem good here. Arcane Artisan seems a little fragile. Maybe not. You can just go 41. Bring in Hexmage, Vraska's Contempt, Emrakul. What do we take out? We took out uh, Chupacabra and we added Hexmage Frasca's Contempt. God, do I do really like Nicol Bolas here. Whatever. Oh, oh god, this hand is rough, but we have all the colors. We're on the draw. Scoop of Cobra is nice. I like it. Oh, is there a new Ugin revealed? Hold on, let's look it up. Let's find it. Oh, it's in it's in a different language. That's unfortunate. I feel like we have to mulligan this hand. K -k -k keep 
Yeah, this hand's much better. Yeah, if something hasn't been spoiled uh, officially, please don't post it in the in the in the chat. Uh, as a content creator who uh, used to get a lot of spoilers, um, preview cards, and then I would write entire articles, and then I would realize that the spoiler that I had was uh, previewed somewhere else uh, uh, and unintentionally leaked. Um, it it kind of sucks because a lot of people are going to put a lot of work into each one of these cards. No, it's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I just don't. I just don't want to. I don't want to encourage that kind of thing because if someone wants to find it, they can go look for it. But all right, they they kept seven. So what's the what's the hold up here? Oh, I got it's me. God, why doesn't it? Oh, God, we should like. I guess I'm the hold up. <laughs> I am the weakest link. That actually happened to me. I had Fiend Slayer Paladin, um, and then it was it was accidentally spoiled by Wizards, and then they actually replaced it with Witch Hunter, I believe, which was the green version of the of that cycle. It sucked because I already wrote my article and everything. I had a whole article written about Fiend Slayer Paladin, and like where it would fit in, why this card's good, and then I had to write a whole new article on a, a totally different card at like the last minute. So it's funny because I know that feeling firsthand. I'm going to run Ludro Core here because I think they have miscalculation. And then we just get to play Thief of Sanity next turn. Which Stalker made it into some side? Some sideboards and stuff. Our hand is actually pretty sweet here. What is this Taiga? This is interesting. Um, yeah, they didn't didn't hesitate to snap this off. Yep. Seems fine. Oh, boy. Yep. Man, just all the counter spells, huh? Change your mind? I also have curiosity about the code. Like, some of it's very strange. You're just like, why does it do this? I don't understand. So it just resolves? All right, cool. I guess they have... Uh, white source into supreme verdict. No, Gideon Jura. Oh, this is nice. They're gonna force us to attack. We're gonna hero's downfall, and then we're going to draw a freebie. Hopefully, it'll be like a Teferi. That'd be such gas. This is nice. I will take a Jace for free, surely. Surely I will do that. Um, we can get rid of a Dread Return here. Free Planeswalker? Good deal. That might be the best of deals.
just gonna play Greyborn Muse here for now. Draws us another card every turn, so that's pretty cool. Hey, look at that. We got to draw an extra card. They didn't keep Deafening Clara to kill our... Hmm. Well, that's fascinating. And if they have Supreme Will, we can't get around this anyway, because we only have... Yep, that's fine. So our, um... <laughs> yeah, our Thief of Sanity ends up getting a Jace and a Supreme Will. They have one card in hand. Seems fine. Caracas and Scarab God is pretty obnoxious, but also obnoxious. It's a long Greyborn Muse. What? What? I don't understand this. Like, letting me draw multiple cards with these, with these cards that I have. I guess you're going to untap his Kanta, which is pretty sweet. They have one card in hand, though. Sure. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> that's nice. Wow, that's real sweet. Back to the drawing board, my dude. One thing Sneak Attack lets us do is put Scarab God into play, attack with it, and then you can also um, return something, and then Scarab God's going to come back to your hand, which is pretty sweet. It just gives Scarab God haste every turn, which is pretty awesome. Even if they bounce it, like, it's whatever. Ugh. Yeah, you don't get the upkeep trigger, but, like, you're still getting a... Uh, 4-4 four, four every turn. Engineer Explosives. Fascinating. They're going to pay 4? They're going to kill their own cast out just to get rid of Sneak Attack? Seems okay. I mean, that seems good for us. Do it now! Oh, you're not? You're going to let me untap? Very aggressive. Can you imagine how silly you'd feel if you just let this guy resolve? Are you going to bounce it? Maybe. Um... Let's get back Thief of Sanity. One, two, three, four. We could have gotten Vampire Hex Mage, but I assume they're going to actually uh, pop the Engineer Explosives before we get to do... I guess they wouldn't have the mana to do it now. Comically, we could have gotten Thief of Sanity. Or we can actually sack everything to get Vampire Hex Mage. That seems bad, though. We could return Scarab God sack these two in Scarab God to pop this. But I don't think we really care about the... Like, we get back we get back a, a Graveborn Muse, which they probably can't even keep up with. Hmm. 
Well, no terminus. Yet. This is where they windmill slam. They're like, terminus, yes. They're also at nine. We have a lot of damage on the board. Tomato, you got it. I don't think that does anything, but well, that's isn't that sad. So we're definitely going to EOT this uh, this Scarab God, so we get the trigger. What do you do about Scarab God? Do you bounce it? I don't think so. So you go to six here? Oh, we, oh, oh. Oh, isn't that sad? Uh, put both on the top. I'll definitely keep a recurring nightmare. Uh, let's attack your face, your face, and your face. <sighs> oh, Whisper, yeah, Doom Whisper might have been lethal. That's a good point. That is a good point. I'm not good at this game. I think we're still in good shape though, guys. Let's kill the tomato. Let's get back Una's Prowler. It's gotta be better than a zombie rogue token, right? Our graveyard's pretty bad right now. Yeah, they have four minutes to win this game and uh, they're at five life. And they have no cards in hand except for the one they just drew. So they're going to keep trying to hit with Ezkanta. Supreme Verdict and Deafening Clarion are both gone, which is nice. And if they draw something like uh, Terminus, it basically taps them out. And we have Scarab God and Doom Whisper next turn, so... I think this game's pretty much over. Yep, the game has ended. Wow, we're 2-0 right now. That's pretty good. Crutch Jr. with the, uh, the decent strategy. I feel like we've been reanimating things pretty decently here. Oh, we're playing against Jeffy OG again. I don't know if you remember this guy. We've played against this guy before. We are both 2-0. I'm going to mulligan this hand. I will keep this one, though. And hope we hit a blue. Keep. Oh, of course, they kept 7. Oh, they mulligan to 6-2. But... Oh, they mulligan to 5. Oh. Yikes. Um... Yeah, we'll just put the Dread Return back. We already have Recurring Nightmare. I just need to find an island here. <coughs> Excuse me. The best part about Krakus Scarab God is that you can still get a 4-4 out of it every single turn. Oh, man. You're so good to me, Magic, sometimes. Sometimes. Magic's like an abusive relationship where sometimes they're really good to you and that makes you forget the lowest of lows. Just don't have a, f a drop that makes me have to Hero's Downfall instead of playing Ashiok. Be something stupid like a Lantern or something. Chromatic Lantern. Eh, I don't actually care about that, Nissa.
Let's get busy eating. Sword of body and mind? Oof. That was a nice hit. They could have went land, sword of body and mind. Attack. When you don't worry, you can always go downtown. Polycronos. Huntmaster of the Fells. That is unfortunate. Well, we're definitely bringing in some sweepy boys here. Um, I'm probably going to kill Huntmaster. I don't want that dude to transform. And it still keeps Nissa alive. Or Ashiok alive, rather. And Nissa's not going to be flipping for any, any reasonable amount of time. What did we hit? We hit a Kozilek and a Steel Hellkite? Okay. Yeah, this was actually a step. This was a uh, reanimation step where we were animating all kinds of things. Hmm. I've been I've been brewing Enchantress stacks here. Anyone mind giving some advice helping out with the mana base before I send a Frank Blazer? Oh, that would be sweet, Danny. Well, I would love a toxic deluge here, but. It looks like all we got is a Doomy Boy. What do you got, Arbor Elf? <sighs> Alright, well, they can't shoot it, thankfully. They can deal it two and we could kill it. No, right? No, it deals X. It would deal us two, we would deal it six. Oh, we got Dread Return and we can just put a bunch of things in the graveyard with this Doom Whisper. Oh, that's nice. Uh, everybody at Ashiok? So we can't save Ashiok, but we can definitely eat something. Probably just going to eat the Nissa here. If we eat this, they just fight in response. And Ashiok ain't going to be surviving this anyway, no matter what, so... If they fight in response, they both trade because this guy becomes a 7-7 seven, seven, it doesn't die to the 6 damage. Man, Eyelash just be giving me a... a heckin'... a heckin' problem. What's happening here? Awakening Zone, sure. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's surveil. Um, trash can, trash can. I just want to hit something I can reanimate, like a Woodfall Primus would be just gas here. Uh, Glory is not bad. We get to deal 10. I still don't want it. Scarab God is pretty nice. That'll do. I don't think we're attacking here. Yeah, we can wait. We're at nine. Harmonize is nice because it means they likely don't have much mana to do anything else with this turn. Man, we know we get a Scarab God. 
We get to bring back a glory bringer. So it's a six plus it's fifteen damage. I mean, I'm tempted to just keep scrying. <laughs> oh, don't be something good. Yeah, that's fine. I don't care about that guy. Micaeus for one. Fascinating. God, I just want to hit that Woodfall Primus, my dudes. Ooh, Huntmaster's nice. Let's get a Huntmaster. That's a free scry. Thief of Sanity? Uh, we can bottom that guy. Now I feel free to attack. Ooh, Chupacabra would be great. There'd be a lot of great... We have a lot of great hits here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. They'll have 8 mana. 9 if they play a land, so they could deal eight, 4 damage. That's okay. Oh, this guy flips. I don't think that does anything, though. Yeah, just does nothing. I've been trying to grind Arena for weeks now with the abundance of degenerate decks like Esper Control and Teamer Wilderness Reclamation make playing Midrange kind of... Yeah, that's, that was my experience as well when I was playing Standard on Arena. Which I'll be doing once again as soon as War of the Spark drops, so... Yikes. I think we're I think we're gonna aggressively find that Woodfall Primus now. Uh do I have any thoughts on the new gods coming for in War of the Spark? Yes, I do. I'm actually gonna do a set review with Rob, so you can find those out then. But um in general, I think they're all pretty undercosted and they're all pretty decent. I mean obviously some are better than others. New Tefri is the best card in why I don't think that's true. I think it's very strong. I'm actually a big fan of the new Mizzet, but I understand why some people are not and uh, why you'd have reservations about it. Um, This is actually a pretty decent attack. I'm just going to jump here. The problem is if we double block with 4-4 and 2-2, they just put a counter on it. Makes it a 7-7. And I don't want to block with Scarab God because Scarab God's pretty versatile here. <laughs> so... One time. Woodfall Primus. Oh, Emrakul. Do we have a way to put that into play? Hachi machi. Um, <laughs> both of these cards actually are pretty good together. We can put Arcane Artisan in the graveyard, Emrakul in hand. We can play Artisan, but we can't activate it yet. No, it's too fragile, especially when they have a Pelucranos. Uh, unfortunately, we can't respond to it now because we have... We can actually put one on top. Surveil during an upkeep, put Emrakul into play. But it still just doesn't do any... It doesn't... Like, what does that do for us in the game? Like, we're still in pretty... Like, Micaeus is going to either put counters on all the guys or put a one-on counter on itself. We want to get rid of this Marari's Wake for sure. Yeah, we'll let that resolve for now. I like a Kalidus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna surveil one more time. Hopefully we'll hit it. I'm gonna surveil one more time after this. Uh, I guess getting Kalidus back is pretty okay here, right?
Oh, I want both of these. Oh, wow. Um, put on the top, put on the top. I, I ordered them the wrong way. I wanted to draw the, I wanted to draw the other one. Yikes. So six, 10, 15, they have to block something. It's non-token, right? Yeah, so it doesn't matter. They can just block with all these guys. Yeah, we're at five. We're just gonna pass here. Yeah, we could have actually been both and try to hit a land. Um, I didn't want to draw this. I, I think it's really awkward in hand now. I just put them back the wrong way. That's probably gonna cost us. So they have four creatures, we have, or they have five creatures, we have four creatures, so. And one of them is Machaeus. Not too scared about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They have 11, 12, 13, 14 mana. I don't know what this is gonna be, but it's pretty terrifying. They do have Kozilek in their deck, so it's very possible they have like an Ulamog as well. Oh, the problem is this was scry. This wasn't surveil. So, like, we had to put this on top and then surveil it later. This is a burn spell. Are you just burning us out for, like, a million? I mean, they have 11 mana. So, it could be just... It could be the battle mog. Exile, like, a scarab god. Genesis wave, maybe? I don't see why I don't tap all of it, but maybe it's because you're... I think it's got to be a Genesis. <sighs> sure. That was a very hard decision, apparently. <laughs> I oh, must be nice. Um, I bring in Toxic Deluge here. I mean, they didn't seem like they had a ton of ways to deal with Arcane Artisan. If we can get it early enough, I think it's fine. Same thing with, like, Bloodline Keeper. Keep. 100% keep. They mulled a 5 that game too, I believe, so that's pretty rough. Did they mold a four? Well, that's ugly. That's ugly. We have no reason to play. Well, I guess we do play in this prowler. It's just a beater. We have no no play next turn other than like heroes downfall. So eh, we're just gonna march flats and try to go blood crypt. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not... I don't mind it. I'm not gonna... When I'm trying to win a game, I don't mind when my opponent mulls to four. I would like a nice, clean game, but... I mean, I'm not gonna begrudge... Uh, advantages.
downtown. Sort of body and mind, huh? Sort of body and mind. Do -do 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 -do. They pay two to equip, and they have like a lightning bolt or something. They have to have like they have like one card to do it. Maybe we should drive. We ought to buy one of those awakening zones for Mutual. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. Something. Five mana, six mana. Yep. Big old Inferno Toots. Killing the Bloodline Keeper. Buddy, I get to draw cards. Let's get in there with this guy. We'll keep the uh, the Graveborn Muse back. I don't feel like getting a hit with the sort of body in mind. I thought his name was Pykel. It, it varies. It's uh, it depends. This is where they pay seven and they, uh, oh, that's good too. Why wouldn't you keep a mana up so then you can equip this and have a three, four? If you paid with the Mind Stone instead, I mean, you could still crack these two and equip and then attack, which I guess you're dead on the crack back though. No, because you have a wolf. Yep, that's a good one. Okay, so if we attack, we go to shoot this guy, they crack it in response, they draw a card, they get to discard a card, they get to block here, so they take five. Yeah, they're still dead. All right, that should be lethal. Let's glory bring it. They have Pelucranos and Infernal Titan. I feel like Braska's Contempt is pretty safe to bring in here. We can cut the Dread Return. I don't feel like we're putting that many creatures in the graveyard. Man, I do like this Nicol Bolas. I just don't feel like we're going to efficiently get to 8 mana. That's all. Well, we're, we're obviously not casting this guy, thankfully. Um, I'll keep this hand. Ludro Core makes this hand very, very keepable. 
Well, the six again. All right, well. Not the land we need. We want a black source here. I'll take it, but I won't like it. Every game with this awakening zone, man. Well, unfortunately, the scry rule is no longer existent. Black mana. All right, well, let's get in there. Try to hit a black mana. I don't want to lose to this. Yeah, we did it, boys! Oh, that seems good. Against the green deck? Come on. Maybe they are mulliganing until they see Awakening Zone. Looter el core. It's Spanish for looter the core. <laughs> that doesn't seem incorrect. I don't know what's I don't know what the holdup is is here. There we go. We did it. Very difficult to resolve zone. Yeah, you're right. It's just a hard card to to deal with. Oh, here comes Marari's Wake. Awakening zone into Marari's Wake. Oh, boy. Here we go. That second black was very, very nice. That's nice. Uh, let's get rid of the third black. Let us play Bloodline Keeper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana if you hit a if you hit a land. Here comes Cause Daddy. Oh boy. Eight mana. Not Cause Daddy. Okay. Mind Stone is not what I was expecting. Pelucranos, that's okay. Something else? Sword? Micaeus for two. All right. And that's not the worst. Let 
Maybe like a Rex Sage or an Acidic Slime or something. That would be gas. Um, discard a land here. Thrun seems nice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's just put the Thrun in hand. Or, you know, wherever it goes. Could just play Doom Whisper here. Six, seven, eight, nine. Maybe she just attacked. Put them to ten. No, it doesn't do anything. Well, now they have a million mana. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. No red sources, though. Yep, this is... I'm going to be sad if we don't hit another land. I think they're just activating Pelucranos for like a bajillion. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this, for 5, so they kill both of these. That's good. We get to make a vampire. What's better than that? Dimitri's not afraid. My resub went through yesterday, but I don't see the way that I share that eight months now. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Even though it did not go through, I still appreciate it. Preach, as they say. If you guys haven't done so, definitely uh, be sure to follow or subscribe. Both of those things are awesome. And uh, I stream at least five days a week, so we'll hang out so freak. We'll hang out all the time. You guys get to support the channel. You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get uh, free shipping and 15% off on that which is a pretty sweet deal. And you can also check out ManaTraders.com. ManaTraders is an awesome service that lets you rent physical paper cards for your physical events or digital magic online cards. Uh, and they have various different subscriptions that you can try out. And if you use the promo code and the link in the description below, you will get 20% off the first three months, which is pretty sweet. Uh, okay. You might just actually be killing this. That's pretty insane. Joke's on you, you already are subbed. Got him. Got him. And I had an article go up over at CoolStuffInc.com this week, so definitely check that out. Um, I would appreciate it if you guys went over there and left a comment and uh, left your thoughts. That way they know that the article's being engaged and it's and you know it looks, it looks good for everybody. So, But uh, CoolStuffInc.com, you can also use promo code FRANK5 and you will get 5% off your entire purchase. So be sure to check those out. Manatraders.com, MeUndies.com, slash Frank Lepore, and CoolStuffInc.com. Links are all in the description below. And that is the way the teddy bears have their picnic. What is this? This was a holdup here. All right. Three, four, five, six. Let's make a guy. We could just double block here. And then we have... We still have Inferno Titan. I think we're actually double blocking here. They have one card, so... Getting a 13-13 off the board is really where we want to be. <laughs> oh, big choops? Big choopa loops? Oh, man. Oh, my dude. I think both of these are actually very good here. I think I want to stick it like this, because then we can just go... Uh... Like, they're just going to have Tutu on board. So we can actually play Ashiok and, like, Bitter Blossom. Uh, put on top, and then put you on top. Yeah, that seems great.
Nissa, and we hit two lands. Bitter Blossom seems good, especially when we have a Recurring Nightmare. That's pretty gas. So next time we can go Recurring Nightmare, Unus Prowler, get back a Doom Whisperer. Or a Thief of Sanity. I feel like we're in good shape here, but... Yeah, magic's hard. They have enough mana to do literally anything they want. Like, crack that. Oh my god, they have six minutes. Our record is 2-0 so far, and this is game three in round three, so. I also have my friend, my friend David is on his way over, so I'm trying to finish this game up before he gets here, so it's not, like, interrupted. So next turn, we're going to hit Chupa Loops. We can Chupa Loop the Beast. Exile. Ooh, what do we hit? An Elf and a Steel Hellkite. Ooh, that's nice. Let's Chupa Loop the Beast. I actually forgot we didn't have recurring. I thought we had recurring nightmare out. I still want to kill the beast, but I think it probably been better to recurring nightmare. What was your takeaway from the deck that got your trophy number two? Um, I have no idea. Actually, that's a good question. Uh, my takeaway was that like green decks end up doing better for me than other decks because I think they have the most cards that you have to deal with that let that are that insist on having an answer. I think do they just Macaeus here? I guess the Macaeus goes to two, and then they can't really. Oh, they can put a counter on Micaeus and then draw three, which is pretty good. Oh, uh, I have not found mono red. It's not a thing. I think the mono red deck is pretty nuts. So you draw two here, that's great. If you put a counter on this, you could have drawn three, which I think is I think is better in that situation. Denmark, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Sylvan Library, if they can't deal with it, just gives you so much advantage. That's the way the Denmark's have a picnic. Um, I want to be able to steal Hellkite eventually, so I'm just going to block here. Um, one of the things, if we hit a land, we can go Recurring Nightmare, sack it to get Doom Whisper. We can then we can sack we can sack Chupacabra to get Doom Whisper, then sack the token to get Chupacabra back, which is pretty nice. We can also just top take an Inferno Titan, which is a pretty cool thing to do. They also have a million mana that we just have to deal with. I don't think Mono Red actually has a card you want to open. I think you just want to be past a bunch of the cards. Like, it's not it's not a deck where, like, one one single card makes you Mono Red. Like, like the Mono Red deck, just it, it's just about... It's more about consistency. It's more about quantity over quality, where you're getting, like, all of the good red cards. Like, you're getting... Uh, search library for a creature card. Reel it, put in your hand. Sure. That's annoying. This is where they just get Crater Hoof and kill us. I 
I don't think Goblin God is a card you can open. Like, I mean, you get, um... Yeah, obviously you get Critter Oath. Why didn't you... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Why didn't you just play it this turn? That's weird, man. I don't think there's anything we can do about a Crater Hoof. Brain Maggot, maybe. Uh, but we knew what we were getting anyway, so... <laughs> that's unfortunate. Um, I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. That is sad. We also didn't hit another land, so we don't actually get to... Yep. Three minutes on their clock, and we're just going to lose. That's fun. I'm having a good time. Yeah, they just play Crater Hoof when we're dead. That's amazing. Well, that's the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check out those links in the description that I mentioned. Manatraders.com, MeUndies.com, slash Frank Lepore, and CoolStuffInc.com. And uh, thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Feel free to slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching.